Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So we've been having so much fun bezeling pearls. And if you haven't done, you know, seen any of the videos yet, I'm going to put a playlist of the bezeled pearls up there and in the description box below the video for those of you who want to take a look. But just to show you here, we're just using this peyote bezel and bezeling six and six millimeter, eight millimeter pearls. We made these earrings, we made little post earrings, so much fun. These are a blast to play with. Here's the halo necklace. There is a bracelet coming up. I'm still working on it, so I'm mm, hoping that it will be next week's video. So I got a uh, request on YouTube to bezel a coin pearl. So I did. So let me move these guys out of the way, and I'll show you the coin pearl. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm having some, I feel like bezeling every bead that I have right <laughs> We also did a, uh, a pearl drop, which I didn't put out. Oh, yeah, it was out, actually. It was in the earring. So here's the coin pearl. This is a coin pearl. These are different sizes. This is an 18 mil, uh, 16 millimeter. These are 14. This is what they look like. So much fun. We used these for all the eclipse and full moon jewelry. So I'll show you the earring real quick. So here's the earring. Here's the silver one, the white pearl, with, and here's the jade one. I did... This is what the back look like. looks like. It's kind of cool. I've got a little beading on the back so you can actually wear it either way. Very fun. Um, this one, we did a little stitch in the ditch, which I'll show you, which is so much fun. And this, um, this one we embellished, I embellished with little two millimeter crystals. And this one I embellished with the 3.4 millimeter Yuki drops. And I did a little point bezel on the center. And this is just a plain one. So we'll do this style today because you, if you do this, that you easily can do this. So um, there you go. Now a lot of you have asked me for pictures of what it looks like on the ear. Okay, so I took a couple of pictures of myself, um, which I hate doing, but <laughs> I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> so here's the the um, white one. So beautiful. Just, just lights up the face. It's so pretty. And this is the turquoise one. So you have an idea of how it looks, how it falls on the ear. Clearly not heavy. It doesn't pull my, my earlobe down or anything. So there you go. All right. So I'm going to clear the decks, get materials list going, and we'll get started. Okay. You're going to need two Swarovski coin pearls. And these are 14 millimeter. So pretty. Love them. Some 11 Odelicas. I'll put all materials, colors, sizes, everything in the description box below the video. So don't forget to click the down arrow or the show more so all that opens up and you know everything that you need to get or you need to find from your stash. 15 O seed beads. I'm using a 13 O Charlotte. I'm going to say that's optional. I used it here. I like the way it looks, but I think you can probably get away with just 15 O's. 3.4 millimeter Miyuki drop for this guy here. This one I'm using, I used a one or two millimeter of um, crystal, uh, Chinese crystal bead. And I think these are from the dollar bead box, these little red beads. But you can use anything that will fit between your stitch and the ditch there. So uh, you'll see when we get to that. Um, you can put a dagger in there. That would be cool. There are a ton of those in the dollar bead box too. All right, you'll need a little stop bead. Oh, you need a pair of ear wires. So I'll just show those right there. Well, here, I'll put a couple out, just so. There we go. I'm using a a lever back. Um, this is not a lever back, but I like the lever back here, but you can use anything you want. Size 10 beading needle and a 12. I'm going through some, some small beads and some 8-pound fire line. I'm using black satin. All right, so I'm going to clear off my mat and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about three feet of thread. Put on a stop bead right in the middle. So you have half the thread coming one side of the stop bead and half the thread on the other. One side's going to be a little longer, of course, the one that's your needle is attached to because you have a little tail at the end. And that's good. I want this side to be a teeny bit longer. All right, so I've put onto my needle and I've dropped down to my stop bead 36 delicas. 11 o delicas. I'm just going to make those into a circle by sewing up the first, sewing through the first couple of beads. Like that. So now I'm just going to do the standard peyote bezel. So I'm exiting a bead. Let me pull in a little bit. I'm going to go super tight. Exiting this bead, skipping this bead, sewing through 
the next bead. Make sure that previous that bead sits on top of the previous bead. Do that again. Exiting this bead, skip the next one, so through the following one. So you're going to do all the way around. So do that, meet me at the end, and we'll step up. Okay, so I'm down to the end now, and I, we're going to step up. So we're exiting this bead, going to skip this guy, so through this one, and the one on the diagonal. Now we're going to add one more round of delicas. So just pick up a delica. Sew through the next sticking out delica. Just like that. Do that all the way around. And then come on back and we'll step up again. Okay, coming down to the end again. So I have a couple of beads to put on. So now I'm going to step up. We're exiting this bead right here. I'm going to skip this one and sew through the next one and the one on the diagonal. Now we have three rounds on, so I'm just going to give it a little, put my thumb in and pull a little, give it a little pull. I don't want it too tight, just gently give it a gentle pull so it looks kind of like that. Now we're going to start with some 15 O's, so I've pulled out some green ones because I thought it would be easier to see. Just going to get rid of the cat hair. Come here, you. There you go. Ah, it's following me. Done. Okay. <laughs> Just going to put a 15 O between every sticking out delica. Just like that. All right, so do that. Step up and do it one more time. So you have two rounds of your 15 O's. All right, see you in a few. Okay, so I've finished my two rounds and on this side, and you can tighten it at this point. You can actually pull the back thread, put your thumb in and pull the front thread. You don't have to go crazy, but just make sure, make it look into somewhat like a bezel. I'm not putting the stone in, I'm just placing it for fit. I think that's going to work just fine. I'm going to take it out. Now I'm going to put the, my, the other thread I'm just going to leave aside. We'll get back to that. I'm going to take the stop bead off the, others, the, of the tail thread and thread that needle. And I'm going to start bezeling this side. So picking up a 15-0 and sewing through every sticking out Oops. Delica. So do that, do one round and step up and then come back. Okay, we're back. So I finished that first round and I've stepped up and I just want to test the stone. So I'm gonna just pop it in. And that's good. You want to make sure that it loosely fits around the stone. Like I'm afraid if you do too many 15-0 rounds then it's gonna to get too tight on one end. So that's working out really well. So I'm just gonna pop it out for a second. So I'm I'm exiting one of the 15 O's. I'm just going to advance my needle through a couple of delicas on the diagonal just to get to the center there because I want to put this, the, um, the bead. I know I keep calling it a stone. All right, so put the bead in just about where your, put the hole where your um, thread is coming out. And then just going to have to locate it and sew through right to the other side. It would be nice if it came out like in the center between a couple of delicas. It's where it feels good. Kind of like that. So I've just attached the stone and that's looking, that looks really good. It's really, um, it's fitting nicely. Don't worry about it, it's not going to stay in yet. So I'm just coming out of the middle, um, you know, in between a couple of delicas, you know, through the hole. So I'm just going to, I want to get over to this side again, so I'm just going to advance my needle through the delicas. Until 
how I I'm exiting a the 15 -0. right there okay and then just add another round of 15 O's pick up a 15 -0. So the next 15 now. -oh. Just like that. All right, so do that all the way around and then we'll continue. It's back for one second. Just so when you're adding your 15 O's, what I do here is I'm just holding the, the bezel and I'm pulling very so slightly inward. I'm not pulling the whole bezel. I'm holding this tight and then just pulling inward. And that way it keeps the beads kind of in line and moving this way instead of pulling them outward. All right, so maybe back here in a minute. Okay, so I finished my second round. So I'm going to put that needle aside again. <laughs> We're going to go to the other side again. Now, if, you're, if your bead is kind of wonky and it's moving around, it's a, you know, you can just like play around with the bezel, give it a little squish here and there, and you could also give it a little push right down into your mat like that, and it kind of centers everybody. Um, this is one of those bezels that just doesn't, it's not going to stay, it's not going to be completely tight until you're done, and you could pop it out at any moment. So um, just try to keep it, you know, tight as, as you can, and just hold it with your fingers, and you'll see it, it will... Um, it will definitely tighten up. So here I'm going to switch colors just so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to do this the back of the stone now with this sort of little triangle in the back. So we've put on originally 36 delicas so we have 18 sticking up beads right so eight so you're exiting one of those right now when you stepped up. I'm going to pick up 10 of my 15 O's. That's 10. I'm just going to divide this in three. So I'm going to count six, but I'm not going to start counting till after the, th the, the bead my thread is coming out of. So one, two, three, four, five, going through number six. Now, just a, a note, sometimes these coin pearls are a little bit, you know, they're, they're like maybe a teeny bit bigger or smaller. If 10 beads, if you have a space, like I might have a little space there, if you have a space, put 11 beads. You really can um, adjust on the back. So I think I might even go with 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's see if that works out better. So you might need 11 beads. And then you might need 10 here. So the back can be adjusted. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It could be that I had a skinny bead. Okay, so I'm going to count. Not this one, but this one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. So I'm definitely um, going to go with eleven on each one. So it could be because. You know, my seed beads might be just a teeny bit smaller, or, you know, you hook, I don't know, but the other ones I use 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Ten, so 11, so I'm going to go with 11 now. That's 11. And then we're going to go through our original bead. like that. And then when I give it a little pull, that's what it looks like. And then you just want to reinforce this a couple of times until it's nice and sturdy. Don't worry about the front. We're going to get back to that. So do this reinforcement and then come on back. Okay, we're back. So before we get to the front, um, because you could have, you know, the stone could still move. Actually, I pulled on my thread a bit and my stone <laughs> popped out. And that's really because first we're using, we're, we're bezeling sorry, a bead, and the bead, and it's shiny on both sides, and it's not bigger on one side and smaller on the other, so capturing it is a little more difficult, but it's doable, and it's, you know, I've done it on each one of these, and these are all nice and sturdy. You just have to play with it a little bit, and I'm just going to show you some little tips. So here, I've finished, I've um, reinforced this, the triangle backing, 
um, a couple times. So I'm going to, where am I coming out? Okay, I'm just going to advance my needle. I'm holding it like this, see, so I'm not pulling the bezel apart. It's going to advance my needle on the diagonal to the delicas. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this thread to sew on the diagonal all the way around the bezel because this one is a little bit looser, a little bit more loose than the than the others I made. So I want to make sure. So you fill up these um, beads a little bit, and you also, you know, as you pull, you're tightening the center of the bezel. So if you do this all the way around, this is going to tighten it up. I mean, I do this anyway when I'm doing pretty much any bezel, just to secure it really well and that should really do it and that should hold it in and of course we're going to finish the front so there you go so that now all of a sudden it's feeling really tight I could go around a little bit more so just do that and then come back and we'll work on the front again okay we're back so we're going to add one more round of 15 O's on the front so depending on how your bezel is looking you might not need that extra round but I would like I, I would like the idea of putting another one on before I we do the final row. So I'm just going to just add a 15 oh between every sticking out delica. Okay. Or uh, 15 oh And then meet me back here and we'll finish it up. Okay, we're back. So we're going to do one last round, and it's going to be the Charlotte. So I I switch my needle to a size 12, and then I'm just I'm going to just pick up pick up a Charlotte, um, exiting course of an up bead or sticking out bead, just sew through the next sticking out bead, like that. And then I'm going to advance my needle without any beads through this bead. And through the spade. And add another Charlotte. Like that. Advance through this one. And through this one. Add another Charlotte. And I'm pulling slightly inward, not a lot, just to, to like make it go down and press it with your thumb. So just do that all the way around and then come on back and we'll start embellishing. Okay, we're back. So I'm done and um, we're going to start doing our little embellishment in a minute. But just a couple of notes here. I noticed that I had a little more trouble with this coin pearl than I did with the others that I did. And I think it's because this one, this one may have been a slight bit smaller. Uh, even a half a millimeter around can make a difference. So just a couple of things so you don't get frustrated in case your, you know, bezel is not staying or it's, you know, it's your pearl is slightly smaller or your beads are slightly larger, you know, larger. Make sure that, like we did before, that you sew around, keep sewing around the bezel to tighten everybody up. When you pull your thread through, give it a nice tight pull. When I did the back and I put 11 beads on, I think I should have stayed with 10 because it would have pulled everything in a little bit more. You can reinforce your 15 O's. And something that I think would be a really good idea is because this coin pearl is shiny and it's it's um, all one size. In other words, it's not like a bezel where it's bigger in the front and smaller in the back, so you can make it you know pull it together. You, I, I think that you could take a little sandpaper and rough up the edge of the coin pearl so that it takes some of that surface off, so the beads have something to grip onto. You can also use some matte beads, um, which will grip a little bit more too. But I'm, the next time I do it, I'm going to rough up the outside of the pearl and you know, and see if, if that makes it easier. It still works. It's just, I'm just giving you a few tips to make it easier. All right, so now we want to put the embellishment on. So here I'm exiting a 15-0. I just want to move my thread 
to the delicas here. So you're just going to do it on the diagonal. So I'm going to sew through this one. And then this one. Make sure where I'm coming out of. Okay. This one. So I'm heading into the delicas now. And then I want to go one more over like that so that I'm exiting that delica. Doesn't matter where on the where well it's going to matter where it is, but just right now just get to that delica. So here's the front of my bezel. I'm exiting this delica here. So not this one, but this one right here. Alright, so now to put on the the little um, stitch in the ditch beads so we can put our drops on, we need to sort of adjust where we're going to put them. I just want to pull out a little bit. So you want to make sure that you have a top to your earring. So if you want the point to be at the top, um, or if you want this to be at the top, you know, the one of the long, the long lines or the sides of the triangle. But I'm going to leave mine actually right there and I'm going to put my drops around like so. Now you can count if you like or just move your move your thread to wherever you want your drops to start. So I think this looks like a good spot right here. I'm just going to make sure that they that I am starting right here so that it's even. You know, so that triangle is even. So it's not like like the the drops don't start here. So when you look on the back it looks like weird and funky. <laughs> right. So I'll just lead, let's see where am I? So I want to, I'm working um, with these beads right here, so I'm coming out of exiting this bead. See it's closer to the front of the bezel than the back. See that? And then all I'm going to do is pick up a Delica. You know what, I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to get a different color so you can see the contrast. I'll be right back. Okay. So I got some of these green delicas, just so it would be easy for you to see. All right, so here you see where I'm exiting. It's okay. So here I'm holding. So I'm holding the front of the stone to my th thumb is here before I was holding it. All right, I'll just hold it like that. Okay. So here I am. Here's the front of my stone. I'm exiting this delica. Right there. Just going to sew through the next one in line. It's the only one you can sew through at this point. It's like that's where the ditch is, right? And then I'm going to give it a pull. It's going to pop that bead into place. And when I hold it like this, see how it pops out? Pick up another one. Just sew through the next. See, that's the ditch right here. Here's the stitch, and here's here's the where you're coming out of. Here is the ditch, and then you're going to come through this. So through this bead right here. Use your 12. Give it a pull. This is also going to tighten it up. So just all those little tips. You don't have to do all of them. Just, you know, pick whatever works for you. Another one. Oops. Make sure you don't get it twisted. Okay. So then do that all the way around until you have how many beads that you, how, how, whatever number you want on, whatever looks nice and whatever fits nicely around your, your, um, the to make the back look nice. So it looks like I'm going to have about nine or ten. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So put those on and then come on back. Okay. So I have all my stitch, stitch in the ditch on, and here. So see how it's evenly wrapping around the triangle. I have a couple more, uh, a couple more beads on then on the on this one but it could be pretty so we'll see you know you can actually like put on a separate thread and that way if you have you know if you don't like the amount of beads you can always pull one off you know but just gonna go with it so I'm exiting one of the delica beads where I put the stitch you know the the um, green delica on so I'm just going to sew up on the diagonal I just want to turn my thread around so sew up on the diagonal this guy, 
a bead right next to it. That's my turnaround bead. And through. This one. Like that. And then through the green one. Now from all this, like, you know, trying to figure out how to tighten it up, my bezel is so tight, it's probably too tight now. So just be careful, don't over tighten it. <laughs> so with this one, with the other one, I put on 15 O's before the drops. You don't need to do it with this for some reason. Um, these, well, if you're using these drops, these drops have a much thicker top, the bra the um, bronze color drop. So one, it fits in here without a 15 O. So I'm just picking the fattest ones. And I'm going to put those on. like that. So finish putting those on and then come on back and we'll get the ear wire on. Okay, we're done. I think that's so cute. With it. It's like fringy looking. I kind of like that. So here it is with the well, like one less and here it is with one more. They come out kind of different each time. So here I've come out of the, I put the last drop on. So you just want to tighten this up by sewing through this uh, let's see, this Delica underneath the green Delica. See how it's going to pull everybody tight? And then on the diagonal, I think I got my thread caught there. This happens, so just make sure you fix that. You don't want to have a thread showing there, okay? And then Keep sewing, sewing through the delicas. Like I said, I made mine so tight now my bezel is about to explode. <laughs> All right, so then keep doing that until that's nice and tight. And here I have my other thread that I can use, uh, that I can either sew in or I can use to put on the ear wire. I'm just going to sew this one out of the way and I'm going to use the, the thread that I was already that I that I have on it's a little bit longer so just get to this point and then come on back and we'll put the ear wire on okay let's get the ear wire on so I've, I'm just using the same thread or you can add a thread so what I did here is I just eyeballed the center of my <laughs> my needle is a little bent because it's a size 12 I don't know these pony beading needles they bend a lot but I, I like that and I don't like that so they're you know pluses and minuses about that. So I'm just going to, just like an eyeball where my center is, I'm going to make sure I'm coming out of a Delica that's sort of in the center where I can do a stitch in the ditch here. So I'm going to put the, the um, I'm going to pull in super tight for that. I'm going to put the ear wire in the ditch here. So see what the Delica I'm exiting is right here. I'm going to put my wire here and come through this one. So I'm going to pick up a Delica I lost Delica ear wire. Sorry about that. And a Delica like that. And then as I'm exiting here, I'm just going to sew right through the next bead that I can sew through. I'm putting this one, the ear wire in the ditch like that. See? I'm going to pull back a little bit so I don't go out of frame. And then, so on the diagonal, I just pulled my thread off. So on that diagonal, reverse direction, you know, like we're doing. So you're going to sew on that diagonal, come down to a couple, the two that are next to each other, reverse direction, sew up through the ear wire again on the other side and through until your, um, to your ear wire is nice and tight. Let's just take a look right now. Let me just move these guys out of the way so I don't mix them up completely. So very cute. I think that's ad adorable. That's horrible. <laughs> They're just like little chunky things and I just think they came out so cute. So here you go. 
You know, so it looks like really fringy. Love it. Um, I hope you enjoyed me, this video. Have fun with with bezeling all kinds of beads. Not done yet. We have a navette coming up. We have some big stones coming up that we're going to bezel. We're going to do other stuff also. But this is just so this is so joyful just to do this. So thank you again so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.